Hello and welcome to a quick demonstration of the uh, Elko Master 2 report designer. I'm going to show you today very, very quickly how you can produce your own custom reports um, using some very, very simple tools. Um, this is just an overview really, so if you want to find out more, please contact uh, Graham at BAMR or, and he will get in touch with us in due course. So this is Elko Master 2. I'm going to work from the library screen. This is where I create my templates. I'm going to create a new template for a report design. I'm going to call it BAMR. Step through the wizard. I can choose which type of batch I want the report to have on the report. So I'll select dry film thickness and I'm going to have one dry film thickness batch to go into this report. Okay. So first of all, uh, I need to put a title on my page. I can use a text box for that. I'm going to call this inspection report DFT. Okay, and I can change the size of that to suit my report design. Okay, uh, I can then add um, an, I can add an image to the top, so I can add something like a corporate logo or some kind of other title that gives my makes my report look a little bit more professional. So just. Uh, Select this logo that I've got here, save that, and then I can drag that, resize it as necessary, like so. Okay, next up we need to start putting in some information for our, uh, from our gauge, from our batches. So I'm going to put in some graphs. So first of all, let's have a nice individual's graph. Note that there's some placeholder data put in here, but any the data will be updated when we put in our specific batch. And I can also add a histogram as well in the same way. Okay, simply by dragging and dropping from the bar on the left. Okay, next up I need to put some extra information in. So first of all let's have a little grid of labels, a grid of our information, of extra information we can attach to a batch using the label tool in Elkamaster and we'll have some batch labels as well. Like so. Once again resizing just using the very very familiar method. Okay, next up I'm going to add in the uh, batch statistics. Okay, so here we go. So we've got some nice summary statistics here of our batch. Okay, and I'm also going to add in the um, batch, uh, the batch details grid. Okay, there's a very large grid with lots and lots of data in, <laughs> but I can easily double-click this, go into it, open it up, and remove the parts that I don't want, like so. So I'll just remove a few of these bits and pieces that won't be much won't be of much use to us. Just to get rid of a few of them. You can just easily pick them from the list, and you can also choose to um, remove add add things from this bar on the right here. Okay, so I've tidied up my details grid a little bit, adjust the number of rows so that it all makes sense. Hit save, and then we've got a little bit more of a manageable grid, which I can shrink down to fit the space that I've got available. Okay, finally, if we've got any extra notes that we want to add, we can add them on the bottom here using the notes tool. So any notes that are attached with my batch that I've added in Alchemaster will now appear in this region on the bottom. Obviously, this, they're not looking too aligned at the moment, so I'll just go through, adjust them a little bit. Okay, finally, I can save my report close down the designer and go to the report templates tool and actually populate my report. So I'll look for the BAMR report that I just made. There it is. And then I can simply take any dry film thickness batch, drag and drop it across and my report is populated and I can print that, PDF it or email it onto a customer.